Episode 22. The Bad, the Guns, and the Copper. It's called that because of Mr. Copper's, Aaron's character, but it mainly focuses on the great one. I'm wearing the Eagles jersey because it's Sunday, not because I was playing Tayshawn, but because the Eagles played and got defeated by the Chiefs. No surprise there, at least to me. But yeah, we're not talking about football. We're talking about war, season one. 742 views. This one got a lot of views when it first came out, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's because of the infamous Bechtel comment chain war. Uh, let's go down here real quick. 17 plus five, that's 22 replies. Onrushing Beast. Owen knows a lot about Onrushing Beast. Now, <laughs> the comment section is all good and fun. But I gotta start the episode. And it begins with the basement. You know, I do the I do some of these reaction videos in that same basement. The layout has changed throughout the years, but here we go. The lighting looks a little sketchy. Dylan walks in. Yes, the Arabs mission was in fact a success. Because if you remember, the plane did go across the border. Yep. Arnold's philosophy, there's never enough time to celebrate. Because this is just another step in the process. The end game is not here yet. We're not even close. Here we go. He's got his wine glass just straight up has water on it. He's on the computer talking on the phone with someone. He's getting messages blown up. I'm eating a protein bar. This is my baseball phase where I was just proteining up every damn day. I have my old iPhone SE. Is this Zach? Zach Nichols? He bit the bullet. Ah, oh, yes, they were. They had to inform. Mm -hmm. Yep, the Arab took his chance. Arnold's not happy because the, the Arab took a risky chance and the risk was not worth it. At least it wasn't worth the Arab's life. And in Mitch, or psh, Mitch, Arnold's mind, the great one, like those guys failed him because he doesn't know who killed who killed um, the heir, but he's just mad at him. They failed to protect him, or it's, they killed him, but it was actually James. James killed the Arab. And speaking of James, here he is on the computer. Yes, Mr. Coppers. We painted the guns a new batch and all black. We went away with the orange chips because you know that looks lame as fuck. And this is where Aaron comes in to play. But first, we dig in to the Great Ones following and his wacky, like, people that are involved with his cult. This was a very strange scene, but I think it fits. The rolling thunder. Dylan is out for revenge. Saz the Mesti. And he wants to seek the Great One. He wants this clown. And here we go, this is how it starts. very awkward scene where he comes and sits down and this guy who's me and I put like stuff under my stomach to show that I'm kind of like fat I got the sunglasses on I got like double hoodied up and we're gonna play a game the peg game a game of chance that results in one's death that's that's what the game is All right he pulls the gun <laughs> the 
<laughs> this guy's not even phased. He just pulled a gun right in front of him. He's like, well, whatever. Mm -hmm. They did not keep the Arabs safe. This guy's like, what are you talking about? I wasn't involved with that. I'm just part of the group. Mm -hmm. He wants to find the man in charge. The great one. So you do search for the great one. Let me tell you. Are you supposed to be an old person? He has given us many years. He has given us Godly power. Unlike any other man. Because he's hailed as the great one. I couldn't hear every word I said, and I don't remember because this was three years back, but yeah. Basically, the great one and all his followers just believe he's like, wow, this, this great guy. Pull the peg. He got lucky. Mm -hmm. But I must also pick this ordeal. Mm -hmm. The ordeal of chance. And Dylan just trusts me. He's like, okay, I'll give you the gun. <laughs> hey, clearly this guy was just suicidal. I mean, like, didn't, isn't he the one that set the pegs? He knows which one's which, but yeah. The whole point is to establish the chance and having faith in the great one and that his belief uh, in the end is, is, is incorrect. And that's why Dylan, aside from being the Arab gonna kill Dylan and Arnold, just just want this dude done for. They're just dis they're disgusted with their uh, his belief, the Great One's belief. And Dylan's like, well, dude, this guy just shot himself. Are you kidding me? Why did he shoot himself nonchalantly? Because he believes the Great One's teachings, all living things, pass through each other at one time and at one moment in time to another. It's very. Very odd. Mr. Ah, Nick Sloan is back. Not in person, but on the phone. Mr. Coppers have, has taken initiative over his cousin's company. Mm -hmm. It's time we take action. Mr. Coppers, cousin to Mr. Irons. Mr. Coppers is a low, low key scumbag compared to Mr. Irons, was a high key professional who met his tragic end when Arnold, you know. Just took the guns by force, if you remember. Episode 15. Yep. Nick Sloan. James and, 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 I can't even remember Nick's character's name. Danny? Yes. Danny and James. Bit of a grudge match there. And here we go. Aaron Harmon in his debut on the side of Nick's, Nick's house. He's wearing his, that original shirt that's too small for him now. You saw that in the prop tour, I think. He's got these shades. He has this this hair. It's dyed a certain color. I'm not sure what. It looks kind of purple. But he, this guy is a schizophrenic. He's this is Mr. Coppers. He's mm -hmm. they are superior. Well, superior to a certain point that he didn't. He kind of scammed them. So this is display weapon. Like the guy that's bagged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a real person, except it is. That was Trevor. We put a bag on top of his head. So, the display gun, but he actually sold them. This is an explanation why the shots miss so often around, like, season two and stuff. He sold faulty weaponry. He just wanted the money. Dude's cross-eyed. I mean, how the hell is he supposed to make a proper weapon when the can't even see straight? He doesn't even know how to, uh, how to work the bank on your phone. But at least he produced a plasma cannon, which we have not used in a good while. But yeah, no, he cannot keep the phone. Very strange person. He's got a magnifying glass on him. See? Another phone call. White chocolate. The Skittles man. Master Met. 
This is his first scene. He just comes out of nowhere. So you want me to Albright College? White Chocolate did not go to Albright College. He is in All right, I'll be right on. my father's work office. And he has this flashy looking Nerf rifle. That was his. We've never used it again. I haven't seen White Chocolate in a who knows how long. Over a year. But this is his first scene. He is the cl he is the cloned individual. There's like a bunch of them with the great one. Basically, he like took a guy and cloned him a bunch over to prove that everyone lives each other's lives, I guess. That's why. Life flows through the universe the same as time does. There is no afterlife. That's what the great one believes. And here we go. He sends this guy, basically he's like assassin type type gig. He sends him out, sends him to take on Arnold because he knows Arnold is like gonna come after him. He's like, well shit. I screwed up and now if we don't do something, we're gonna be in trouble. Because he knows the hacker's legion. Powerhouse. Yeah, I threw that thing down. It's really hard to see because it's dark and these old phones are probably next to the Okay, I forgot about that. Nick's iPhone just wasn't good in low light. This was 2017, 2018. That phone came out in 2016. He might have had the 7 by now, actually. But I'm not quite sure. Even then, those phones weren't that strong in low light. Like, you have to remember, it's super, super dark. You can hardly see what's going on. He throws away because he's out of ammo. It's like one of the only times we ever ran out of ammo and his, his gun jam. And I shoot him in the kneecap. I hid behind the washer and the dryer, but I mean, he unloaded so many bullets, like, they should have gone right through and shot me. But, it, oh well. Isaiah is a dishonorable man. Mm -hmm. Not a matter of death. Revenge. Revenge for the Arab. Yeah, he doesn't kill him, he shoots him so he can suffer. This guy better be serious. Uh, this is the spot. And here they are. Arnold wants to throw the Grey One's belief in his face. Down the throat. And here he goes. So it's basically bouncing back between the Great One and Mr. Coppers and the gun deals. Just because we painted the weapons at that time. And we wanted to put it into the story. So there we go. The Jamaican gets there. There's no one there at the spot. He just takes the guns, and he's about to pay him, and then he's like, nah. Which was well worth it, because the guns yeah, were flawed. He, I guess it's a great deal. He didn't have to pay anything. He just stole them. And, you know, that's what crooks do. They steal. Here we go. Trevor. Dylan, we, he didn't, he just... China, we kind of just skip to it, cut to the chase, and he finds the gray one. And then there's me wrapped up in cloth. I have this thing over my head, and I shoot. Oh, yeah, he, he basically just finds this guy, and he's like, take me to him. And he's like, okay, okay, he, he's scared. He, he got scared. Trevor's character. The gray one. He pulls over the hood. Oh, yes, he knows who it is. Dylan. Jesse. Jesse. So Dylan was like, you know, Russian from Russia, and he trained in, in military practice. So this Jesse guy was buddies with him when they were younger. That's the story. So yeah, they were best friends. I guess this guy was just scarred from, from all the violence he went through. So he became the great exactly one. Exactly happened to you. The man that has no morals. The hacker. Why does he believe he has no morals? Because the thing he did back in the original War series, they talk about it in the, to the North, taking the people, abducting them, doing experiments on them. It all stems back to Primo 10 Labs, which we'll get diving into with Mob. Oh, and the episode's literally over. So yeah, they're having this banter back and forth. Old friends, and then we get this, this philosophy drop from Aaron, the great one. Mm-hmm. The Collapse. The Rapture is another name for it. Fade to Black. End screen. The episode is over. Saz Domesti, 23. Nick's got that one covered. And after that, we will be with Owen.
and you get to see Owen react to Darlin, his very, very own episode. So, that is that. We're working on filming five, six, and seven. Planning film days. Just have patience. The episodes will be out eventually.